Watch WikiLeaks founder just exposed Hillary's dirty secret. Total media blackout. Democrats do not have a cohesive strategy on anything positive to offer American voters. Instead, they project and blame President Trump for crimes they committed. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange explains that he has investigated both 2016 presidential candidates and discovered that only Hillary Clinton had substantial ties to the Russian government. Hillary Clinton has done quite well strategically to try and draw a connection between Trump and Russia because she has so many connections of her own, Assange said. Assange further explained that Trump clearly does not have any ties to Russia. Before becoming president, Trump attempted to break into the Russian market multiple times and was never able to succeed in their system of cronyism and corruption. Clinton and her campaign staff, on the other hand, have made substantial sums of money by selling their influence to wealthy Russian oligarchs. Specifically, Julian Assange refers to the Uranium One deal where Hillary Clinton's State Department granted a Russian company control over 20% of America's uranium production capacity in exchange for million-dollar donations. Uranium One, originally a Canadian mining company, was slowly acquired by the Russians between 2009 and 2013. The company operated lucrative mines in Kazakhstan and had plans to control American uranium production. Uranium is a strategic resource. Before Uranium One could purchase American mining rights, the Committee on uh, Foreign Investment in the United States was required to sign off on the deal. Then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton served on the board. While Clinton was just one member of the board, she was, according to the New York Times, the only government official on the committee to personally benefit from the deal. Since 2008, multiple executives connected to Uranium One or Rosatom, the company that was allowed to acquire Uranium One, donated over $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. Uranium One has been relying on the influence of the Clintons for over a decade. In 2005, Frank uh, Giustra, the CEO of what would become Uranium One, Uranium One traveled with former President Bill Clinton to Kazakhstan. His mining company won access to major uranium reserves in the country days after the visit. The relationship between the Clintons and Uranium One continued to grow as the mining company eyed expansion into the United States. The Clintons allowed Uranium One to control 20% of American uranium production. They then allowed the company to be acquired by Russian energy agency Rosatom. Days before the deal went through, Bill Clinton traveled to Moscow and was granted $500,000 for a speech by a Kremlin-linked company. Former President Barack Obama did not trust the Clintons and he forced Hillary Clinton to sign an agreement to disclose all donations to the Clinton Foundation while working for the State Department. However, millions of dollars donated to the Clinton Foundation by the head of the Russian uranium company went unreported. Ultimately, Hillary Clinton has numerous nefarious ties to the Russian government, while Trump has never broken into the Russian market. Clearly, the Democrats are projecting. They have nothing against Trump, so they blame him for the crimes of Hillary Clinton. Let's take a quick listen here to Julian Assange. Hillary Clinton has done quite well strategically to try and draw connection between Trump and Russia uh, because she has so many uh, connections of her own. Now, my analysis of uh, Trump and Russia is that there is no substantial uh, connection. Why do I say that? Well, because Trump was trying to invest in Russia before Putin in the 1990s, after Putin 
in fact, nearly all the way up to the uh, present moment. Uh, and he's had no success. He did not manage to build hotels and so on in Russia. So that, that shows the, how um, um, insubstantial uh, his contacts are. There's an extremely well-documented pattern of when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, those people, companies, governments, who wanted a decision by the Secretary of State in their favor, making large donations uh, to the Clinton Foundation, or in some other cases, uh, business deals with the people around Hillary Clinton. Now, one particular instance is the approval by Secretary Clinton uh, of selling 20% of the US uranium uh, reprocessing rights uh, to a Russian company to be exported to Russia. So at that time, a large donation was made by those Russian interests to the Clinton Foundation. In addition, Clinton's campaign manager, Podesta, uh, was on the board of a company called Jewel Unlimited. And Jewel Unlimited held some of these rights uh, and received a $35 million investment uh, from Russia. And there you have it, folks. Who, who, who is the criminal? Hillary Clinton. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.